With the Brizzy Pro version comes a lot of integrations. You can go check on the website all the integrations and they keep growing. In this video, we are going to look at how you bring Mailer Lite as a subscription opt-in form onto your website and connect it directly to your Mailer Lite account. Let's go into Mailer Lite. I really like this platform quite a lot. And if you have less than a thousand people subscribe to your list, it's for free and very intuitive and easy to use. This is like any other email marketing platform. We are not going to go into detailed description of Mailer Lite. That's not the purpose of this video. Well, usually you have people who you put on your list and that is called subscribers within MailerLite. So you want to collect your email addresses from the subscribers. Then the other thing that we often use when we are working with these lists is list. In MailerLite, they are called groups and you can either have them in one group or you can create many groups depending on the different campaigns that you may be running or whatever suits your style. What I will do is create a new group so that we can see once the integration between Brizzy and MailerLite has been completed, how these two will talk to each other from one side to the other. What will we call our group? Well, nothing special here. We can call it uh, Cortana forever. And then we create our group and I will leave it for now as is. Then we go into our WordPress with our Brizzy. You have to make sure though that you have the Brizzy Pro. This is not going to work with Brizzy Free. Make sure you've got Brizzy Pro and it's always a good idea to have the latest version of Brizzy updated within your WordPress. Then once you have Brizzy Pro installed, you will see in the sidebar on the left, if you go to the label that says Brizzy, hover over it. You see here integrations and leads, and this is what this is all about. Every time you activate the integration, it will appear here. You will have a little bit more control over it. And if you click on it, you're going to be surprised to find that there is absolutely nothing and you cannot add it here. And that's why there is a little bit of a tooltip over here that says add new accounts directly in the Brizzy page builder. Hey, I just added one word there, page. So you are going to create your page and once you get to that part where you want to add an opt-in form and link it to your MailerLite account, you will then set it up. So let's go do it. I'll just go directly to my site and I'll visit it. And from here, I will say edit the page with Brizzy. And we scroll down all the way to the bottom here. I will add a contact form. So add a new blank block. I grab my blank block and I'm just going to use one column. So I right click and delete this column. The reason why I like to use one column is often when you want people just to opt in and sign up for a newsletter, it's nice just to have their like a subscribe and then they have a field where they can fill in their email address. How do you create this opt-in form? Well, with the form element. So go to add elements, look for form over here, drag and drop, bloop, and then you have already this pre-made template that comes with the form element. We're only going to use one field. You can have as many fields as you want and you can link them to MailerLite's various fields. I usually, when I use opt-in forms, I just let people give me their email address. To get rid of these two fields, I click on the field and delete it. Click and delete. And the button cannot be deleted because you need to send this form, which has now become an opt-in form. If you've never done the integration, you're probably going to break your head. Where is this integration happening? How do I get it in here? That is done by going to the button. So this field is what you want. You want the email, but you, of course, can style it. You click on it. You go to the form settings. You see the field type is currently on email and it is required. You can play around with the width. We're going to keep it at 100%. And then if you want to increase the spacing between that part of your field and the button, you are doing it over here. Uh, let's go change the font just to make it look a little bit different. And we change the color. Hmm. Ooh, this is the background. Let's make the label white. Okay, it's a little bit extreme. Let's do it the different way around. Let's make the background white and then let's make the label pink. And also let's make the border pink. Nice. I like that. Now we jump over to the button. When you click on the button and you go here, you're just going to style the button. What you want to do is go to this one that looks here like a plug. And this is your account for the app. Click on this and voila, all the apps appear, which you had been so desperately looking for. And we are working with 
Mailer Light. These apps are growing as we add more integration within Brizzy. Let's click on Mailer Light and it will now begin the whole process. First thing it's going to ask you is to provide the API key. And basically this is the whole process for all the integrations within Brizzy. They all connect to your API key. And once you bring that in, it's just going to be so beautiful. Let's go to our account. We were currently here in Mailer Lite and I go over here to my account and I look for integrations. There you see it, click on integrations. And there is a lot of other featured integrations over here. We don't care about them. You just go for the first one, developer API, and you click on use. Your API key will appear over here. This is going to be blurred out. All you do is you click here on copy and it will be copied to your clipboard. Go back into Brizzy, click in here and then paste, connect. And there we go. I am connected. From here on, you are going to set up your mailer list. Now, remember, we've created that one list called Cortana Forever. So as I go through this step to the next one, it should give me Cortana Forever as a list as it's communicating. And we are surprised, but we are also not surprised because exactly that's what we had expected. What I want to do now is I'm not going to use Cortana Forever. I want to show you that within this integration, you can create a new list within Brizzy. So we're going to click on that. And then let's say it, we're going to call this one Gears Forever. And then we create that one. And now we are going to say continue. We go to the fields. And this is where you are going to link your forms fields to the fields within your marketing campaign or whichever provider you are using. When you see that little asterisk appear over there, you will see there's quite a number of fields here. This is connected in Mailer Lite. That little asterisk means you have to have something connect within your form to this one. An email is required. That is the bottom line of this integration. And it already connects your email form, that the one you have there in the back, to the email within Mailer Lite. That's it. If you have more, you can do more. And we'll do that within a short while. And I'm going to click continue. And then you see the next step will be done. Done, baby, done. Right. So let's update this. Control S, Command S on the keyboard. And let's go preview it and see if this indeed works. Scroll down. And then over here, we're just going to add any random abc at axyz.com and submit. I should have said that is submit. Your email was sent successfully. Bravo. We go to Mailer Lite and now I'm going to look under subscribers and we should have one subscriber at this moment, abc at xyz.com. And if you go to groups now, you will see that the Gears Forever, which I misspelled, has one subscriber. And that's going to be that abc at xyz.com. Whereas in Cortana Forever, it's empty. This is how the integration allows these two to talk to each other. Let's quickly do a form with more than one field. We go back to home. This time I'll add. So you just click here on duplicate. This is how you get more forms. I'm going to go this one and going to call it name. We want your name. Let's style it a little bit. I'm going to put it at 50% I think over there. It's okay. And then we go to this one. We're going to call this your last name or surname, family name. And once we go under 50%, it should go there. I'm not going to worry too much about that. Good. Now, how do I bring that in? Because we've already set up Mailer Lite. To do that, you run the whole process again. So you click again on button, you go to the app, you click on Mailer Lite, and that process will start again. Your account is still the same. You go continue to lists. Let's choose a different one. Now we go to Cortana forever and we click on continue. And now we're going to match the fields within Mailer Lite to these three that we have created. The email will remain on email. It gives you the option now to auto generate fields, which means that the integration will just make these new fields for you within Mailer Lite, but no need. If you go back into Mailer Lite, you will see there's an option for fields. These are the fields that are currently available within Mailer Lite, and you can add new ones. 
but you see there's name and there's last name. These are default fields that MailerLite creates for you. So you don't need to create it. You go to home and all you do is drop down, you look for name and you match it, last name and you match it. It's just an easy way of matching what you want. So continue. We are done. Let's update it. And once we've updated, we go to the front end and we just refresh our front end. Once refreshed, you will have all this new stuff. So let's put it on ABC at XYZ. We keep that. This time we'll add the name of Cortana. And then for the last name, we call it Gears. And we submit that form. And nothing's going to happen because we made a critical mistake when we set up the form. Let me go show you. What we did in the form is that we had duplicated email. So the value of this field currently is set at email, which means name and last name is also set at email. We don't want that. We want it on text. So go to these two and let's clear up our little mistake and put it on text and let's update that. Go to the front end. We redo that. Refresh. Let's do it again, ABC, and I'm just going to quickly select my order fill. And there we go. Sure, I was nervous there for a moment. Let's jump back into MailerLite and we click again on our subscribers. And you will be surprised there's still only one subscriber because it's the same email. Doesn't matter on how many lists they are, it's going to be just one person. The difference is because of those fields. If I click on ABC at XYZ now, you're going to see the name here appears on the top. So you are building up a profile for this specific subscriber. And that's how great the integration works between Brizzy and MailerLite. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials on other integrations. Also visit us at brizzy.io and join our Facebook community.